there are a couple of different ways that you can arrange to send messages to people when they check their children in or out. One of those is to go under Functions, Attendance Tracker, Messages. And here we'd have a list of any messages we've set up. At the moment I haven't got any. I'm going to click on New. And let's say I want to send a message to a particular person. I can click Select People and I could just choose their name from a list uh, or you know, I could check off several different people. Another option would be to, under the Children's section, I could check off a child and that means anyone who was an authorized pickup person for that child would see the message. And you can ha you know, select more than one if it were appropriate. Say Select and then you can say you know, My Message Here, for example. Then you choose uh, a date that that message would start, a date that it would end, and you could say just show once to each of the each of the people who checks the children in, or you could say show always, which means they'd see the message over and over again during that particular date range. So let's go ahead and save that one. And now we're back at this screen, so we see this message pending. Once people start viewing it, you could then go to the views button here, and it would show you who had seen the message, so you can keep track of who's seen it or who hasn't seen it. Let's go and add another new one. So another way to add a message besides by person, you can add it by classroom. So you could select a particular classroom or multiple classrooms. You know, maybe you want to say uh, after school group has a field trip this Friday at 2 p.m. or something like that. And again, you have the same options with the dates and the show once or show always. We could save that one. Now we've got two messages on our list. We can go to new. You can also base a message on tracking. So any uh, account who is marked with a particular tracking item. So you could send one to uh, all the accounts who are marked maybe as a volunteer driver saying hey I need uh, drivers for a particular trip that's coming up. You could also base it on a child related uh, tracking items such as sending it to everyone who is part of the art program or something like that and then select and then you know my message here that type of thing. Another option would be to well, let's save that so now we've got another one here we'll click new. Another option would be to send a message to everyone with a certain balance so say anyone who owes you more than $25 you know your current balance is past due, uh, you know, please pay at your earliest convenience or something like that. We could save that one and we could even create another one. Uh, the last option is to send a message to everyone. Uh, all school reminder, you know, carnival uh, Saturday uh, 3 p.m something like that. So that would go to everybody and again you could choose whether you want each person to see it only once during the selected dates or see it every time they check in or check out. So that's a pretty easy way to send messages to groups of people. Another way to do it is if you just want to send a message to one particular person you could look up that family like I have the Harrison family showing here and you could click on that person's name. So I could double click on Vicki Harrison's name I could click the message button for her and now it's I, I can do any of those other things like I did before I could select additional people but it's then preset to send a message just to Vicki you know and you could then say something like Vicki please stop by uh, the office or something like that and again you have all those other choices we'll save and we're all set with that one we can exit so you could do it on any person's screen you could double click a name here if it was maybe a neighbor or a friend who's picking the child up. You could go to the related people icon for the child. Let's say it was this neighbor. We could double click her name. You get the same button here and now you're set to send a message just to the neighbor. And so that's the basic uh, way to do it. You can either double click on a person's name, go to people related to the child and double click a name, or you can go under functions, attendance tracking, messages. And that's all there is to it.